Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when building applications. Our viewer is working with a Node Express REST API and a React Redux client app, and they need to figure out the best way to store the user ID for API requests. Let's dive into the details of their situation and explore potential solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's explore how to securely store the user ID in your client-side application for API requests. First, we need to understand the context of your application. You mentioned two potential solutions for storing the user ID. The first option is to decode the JWT token on the client side. However, this approach poses security risks. The second option involves the API sending the user ID upon authentication, which the client then stores in local storage. While this is straightforward, it may not be the best practice. A better approach might be to keep the user ID in memory using a state management solution like Redux while also leveraging the JWT for authentication. This way, you avoid storing sensitive information directly. In summary, avoid decoding the J on the client and consider using Redux for managing the user ID in memory. This balances security and usability effectively. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When storing user IDs in a client-side app for API requests, never decode the token on the client side. This exposes your secret in the JavaScript code. Instead, store the token in a cookie or local storage to prevent loss on refresh. Always send the token with each request for security. To access the user ID in your client-side code, read it from the cookie or local storage. You can use libraries like React Cookie for this. You can read the ID once during the initial page load and store it in Redux for easier access later. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To handle user IDs in your API requests, first check if an ID is provided in the endpoint. If not, extract it from the JUT token. If you prefer not to use the JUT, consider using session storage instead of local storage. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.